Howdy, y'all. My name is Price, and welcome back to some more Wildermyth. We're jumping back in, y'all. Super excited. I uh, I just been playing this a little bit again. I got kind of back into it, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna play it on Twitch. We're gonna record it, um, and that's that because I wanted to. Got my little friend here, the little critter from uh, Wildermyth. Got him when the makeshift campaign was going. Sadly, they're not for sale anymore. Um, but he'll keep he'll be keeping us company. <clears throat> All right. Need a howdy y'all emote? Heck yeah. So, um, we are going to pick up <clears throat> with our same squad from last time. Sorry about the voice stuff. Let me, uh, let me eh, drink some water. Okay. So, we are playing with the same squad that we had last time. Um, or not the same squad, but on the same file. So, these characters may show up in our game. Let's do a new story. Oh boy, so many choices. The Sun Swallower's Wake. I think that's the one. That's the one we have to um, uh, unlock. Give me a sec. Okay. Which one do we want to do? There's the Age of Ulstrix, the Enduring War. Each one has like a different set of bad guys. Um, this is the one I'm doing on my other file, so I don't want to do this one. Or we can do a random one, you know? which are also fun. But having the overarching story is always good. It kind of pushes things forward. Um, Maybe let's do... I like a Luna and the Moth. That could be fun. Just to get, like, some cool stuffs. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. Okay. Uh, Which difficulty do we want to do? I mean, let's do Adventurer. I don't like making it too hard. <laughs> um... Because I'm, I'm here more for the story. I'm here more for the story. Uh, okay. Let us start it up. It's going to take a bit to get going. Um, oh, that's right. We have to do this first. So, uh, we've got a future mystic, a future mystic, a warrior, and a hunter. So, here's the deal. We did this before. I let people... Um, you always pick whatever's the newbie level. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Um, so... Uh, what we did was I had y'all tell me how many times to reroll. So we are going to start with a full new squad. We're not going to pick anyone from Legacy. Um, you're sad that I have water instead of Soylent? I got Soylent. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I've always got my fuel. So that's what we're going to do. So we have two Mystics, a Warrior, and a Hunter. So. Here we go. Let's do... Oh, gosh, we did a poll. That's right. We did a poll in chat. Um, let's see. Joe, are you re can you do the polls again? I think you did it last time. Thank you. All right, everybody. Go up there. Vote in the poll. One through five. Pick a number. That's how many times we're going to randomize. So, yeah. Go do that. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Benny, whoever, whoever did that, appreciate you. All mods. Appreciate all of you. Okay. So, this is for our first character, Boar, the older sibling, or that's what he's called now. Boar Mead. That's a good name. <laughs> uh, all right. So, we're just going to wait until this poll is over, and then we'll do it. So, y'all on YouTube, this is like just, just zooming through, but, uh, but over here, we're going to talk about it for a bit. When you started talking about asking us something, I started the poll. Thank you, Benny. Thank you. I appreciate that. See? Y'all know. This, our mods are incredible here. All right, y'all? Our mods are incredible. So, thank them. Um, so, drop some mod love. Okay. Poll is almost done. Okay. Because I do like having Twitch, you know, make some choices. Three. We got three. All right. And uh, I'd say go ahead and start the next poll um, so that we can be ready for the next one. Uh, okay. One, two, three. Uh, Aether Colwood, the goofish loner, a farmer, age 21. Cool. Stats, what are his abilities? Aspects, right? Full of potential. Farmer, dreamer, don't you just wonder sometimes? Literary, language is the first magic or truest weapon. Cool. Loyal, nice. All right, and he's human and young. Can you, are there different species? Can you eventually unlock? Or, oh, maybe it's for the, the transformations. Okay, so, all right, we've got Aether Colwood. He's going to be our first uh, mystic. We're going to move over here. The younger sibling of Aether. Um, new poll is half done, so we're going to wait on that one. 
Thank you. This is this is a system we got going. This is good stuff. And Joe, no worries about lurking. No worries. Um, appreciate you being here nonetheless. Do do do. Oh man, I love this game. This game is awesome. And just so y'all know, just so y'all know, uh, you may have heard about a new schedule that might be starting um, for Twitch. And uh, because we're going to have more time with multiplayer streams, we have discussed maybe doing some more multiplayer Wilder Myth. So think about that. All right, four wins. One, two, three, four. Albert Colwood, or Colwald. Athbert Colwald, 18, the hot-headed intellectual. Hold on, what was this one's name? Did, oh, that's right. They probably automatically get the same last name. I was about to, I was about to be like, what a coincidence. <laughs> oh, man. The new schedule starting February. Thank you, Kay, for sharing that. Yeah, so that's going to be our new schedule. Um, so I think every day we will have someone um, streaming. And um, Anna will be uh, starting to stream. So that'll be rad. Uh, oh, this is Beth. And this is Quenlin. Oh, okay. So we're going to use these buttons. So these one will randomly pick from our um, our legacies. So that's cool. Kryle could get some uh, some play here. <laughs> oh man. Okay. That one has four, four wins. Wait, say again. Oh, four wins. Got it. Oh, it's a tie. One and five. So you know what? We'll use both of those. We'll use both of those. Duckweed, I think Anna wants to continue streaming on her channel at least somewhat. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to do one. All right, we got Beth again. And then we're going to do five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, the fates have willed it. They have willed it. Uh, two Beths. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Sadly, Beth is not a hunter, so that won't happen. Okay, so then we're going to have to pick abilities. I'll, I'll pick some good abilities. Um, oh, Paladin or Wolf Call. What is Wolf Call again? It's like you, when you kill something, everyone gets a speed bonus. I think that one's really good because you can like surround enemies really fast. Paladin is also incredible. Um... Because it really guarantees you're going to get a lot more hits in. Wolf Call can really make it, like, you can get a very, uh, very good stuff. Rogue. What does Rogue do again? Ah, when she kills someone, she enters Gray Plane. So she gets stealthed, essentially. Cool. So Quenlin must have been who we picked up right at the end. So this is perfect. We're going to be able to kind of build up Quenlin a little bit if we decide to make her a legacy at the end. Kim Chica! Jenny! Wildermyth! This game is so fun. Jenny. Jenny. Huh? Huh? I got the critter. I got the critter. Y'all, drop some bears. Drop some bears for Jenny. How's it going? <laughs> right? Right, Jenny? <laughs> so good. So good. All right. Here we go, y'all. Start this up. <clears throat> Memories and dreams. Those lightless gleams that our eyes seek, unfinding. They take us from tables and summon us home, warmly felt and ever fading. A prodigal child of Laristed returns a grown woman. She comes home with fond thoughts as the afternoon fades. Imagine if I never left, married some farm boy, maybe Jackster Malley, built a house with him. Beth has no plan to stay. Squelch! She seeks a certain book from the famed Lairstead Library. Oh, she's found a uh, one she's found before, and never long forgets. Look at the piggy! Look at the piggy! So cute. Uh, oh, this is Athbert. Wouldn't it be incredible to have a book of your own on these shelves? Mine would be something like, because he's the younger brother, right? Well, there's a couple directions I could. Athbert and Aether were brothers. I love that they have, like, similar names, too. I could go, but what is that? Both possess the mystic's gift. 
Oh, what? This book has all these... Oh, wait. <clears throat> um, oh, what? This book has all these things in it. Neither of them knows it yet. Thanks for the expl... Whoa! I need, to give, I need to give the older brother a different voice. It's too close to the narrator. Drawings of nightmare beings haunt every page. Aether and Athbert flip through it. Writings Kioran. What's it called? Mr. T.L. Wolf, keep the resubs coming. 22 months. Thank you so much, Wolf. Appreciate you. Hey, drop them bears, everybody. Um, Dread Compendium. I read Kioran. Do you, or I read Kioran. Do you? Titles in Yandrick. It was rebound. There's an intelligence in these creatures, isn't there? This one's weaving. Is this one reading? It makes you wonder. Hmm, yeah. If I'm right, the descriptors used here imply, like, a kind of horrified respect. I've been chosen for this, haven't I? They found it for me. Noticing the newcomer, Aether snaps the cover closed. Beth Castlewick? Is that... Aether Colwold? Have I been gone that long? Folks used to call you Cricket. Did they? I never heard that. Well, listen, I... Oh, did you ever meet my little brother? I'm Athbert Colwald. Grown up some, hasn't he? Uh, but... I need that. Sorry. Need what? Beth takes the book from Aether's weak hands. <laughs> His weak hands! You gotta point that out. His weak hands. And walks out. Detective baby hands. That's what's going on here. All right. Um, bitter feelings take root. A natural understanding develops. A flicker of longing heats Athbert's chest. All right. This is one y'all have to decide. <clears throat> I got to make y'all decide. So, uh, it's rivalry, neutral, like friendship, or love. Right? So, can we get a poll for that one going? Uh, Jenny, things have been going well today. Um we just started. We just started the stream. Um, and yeah, just enjoying. I love this game. So I decided, you know, got to start it back up. It's too much fun. It's too much fun. So yeah, can we get a poll for these three? Do, do, do. Love definitely. Make him a bitter boy. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Y'all go up and pick in there which one you would like to see. So I got to keep clicking out. All right. Oh, you know what I need to do? Well, y'all do that. I didn't change the options in here, which I wanted it to be do not mute on loose focus. So when I click out here, the... Oh, come on. Oh, it just gets quieter. Just gets quieter. Got to go with love. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We got 50... We got 50% 50, 50, uh, of the way done. We got to get it going. We got to get the poll going. Oh, man. I love this game. The The whole, like randomized storytelling is incredible. And I know that like a lot of people, like this was on a lot of awards lists. This was like a lot of people's favorite indie game of the year. And I mean, it's incredible. Um, this probably would have been my game of the year until Inscription came out because Inscription just spoke to my deep, dark heart. But uh, this one's incredible. Don't actually know what you're talking about, so I chose love. What wins? Uh... Oh boy. Love wins, y'all. Love always wins in the end. A flicker of burning heats Athbert's chest. Skipping any further reunions, Beth leaves Laristed in the hour she's returned. Why are you oh, why are you making that face? Maybe it's nothing, but part of me thinks I have to follow. Young, you're warned that anyone might be anyone some day, that all you bring and all you chase will choose your ma uh, mapless way. The sun's already low when they embark. All right. We've got our two. We've got to follow into here. So here we go, y'all. Sending Athbert and Aether. And, and this is our, our first first move. Um, Jenny, you still need to play Inscription? Yes, you do. It's incredible. And try not to spoil it too much, but I'm sure it already got spoiled for you at some point. Um, these stories were drafted in Trails. Know where that line's from? Mm, yeah. It's Udway Piles. 
These stories were drafted in tales, scribbled onto landforms in a lettering of dust print crushed clover and the blood I left on briars. Each moth-blotted figure traced in Moon's hand. These stories of mine are transcribed moonlight, but they were invented by my feet. I think Piles thought a lot about how storytelling, it's all translation, from its purest form into language, then altered to be understood. Expression is translation. The first evening comes. Distant hills grow long, bluish beards. Listen, just crickets, and no one ever called me cricket, okay? <sighs> but how far behind would you guess we are? What do you think she thinks of me? Hmm? I wonder what sent her away. Beth Castlewick. She was an older teenager when she left, Mom. Mom, oh, when she left. Mom was alive. How young were you? Not that young. It probably. And then, oh, and then, so now, what's brought her back? They eventually lie down to sleep. But sleep's elusive on the naked ground. The dew chills their skinny limbs. They stare at the dawn. My neck feels roped to my shoulder. Maybe as our muscles warm up. The going only gets steeper. And further from anywhere they've been. Are we headed to Eldstone? It doesn't take long for Beth to realize she's being followed. She drives a harder pace. But the, brother, the brothers Colwald prove persistent. Spirited in their pursuit if not particularly wise. The eighth day dawns gray. They enter the ruins at noon. Stone walls flailed at by wind and years stand stubborn where they were founded. One of the last unburied skeletons of old Kior. This is Eldstone. Has to be. I remember you wanting to come here back before. We hiked a long way. I bet I could climb a column, play lookout. I doubt we're catching Beth at this point, right? Should we think of heading home? See those metal points on the highest pillars? I read that those were for trapping lightning. Kior and sorcerers, they'd harness it somehow. Think we'll get a storm? Hey, Athbert. You've studied ancient Kior extensively, haven't you? Translations and such. You remember that? Yeah, I was obsessed. Ever learn about these particular stones, or this area? Huh, well, I mean, Eldstone was a whole settlement, or settlement, they think, settlement. <laughs> settlement, they think. You know how you hear about the old, the, the castles, knights, lords, and all? A lot of that's cure, I guess. Beyond the traditional stuff, what I remember, I mean, I mean, what I read, and I did read everything I could find, they were people, like us, but they knew secrets that has long since been last. Ooh, transformations, y'all. Uh oh, I gotta <laughs> hold on. Sort of swallowed in the wrong pipe. Um, <clears throat> Cure in life remains, in most ways, a mystery. They built grand halls, keeps, wrote epics, charted stars, made things beautiful things. Many of their stories survive and put in our language, but a lot of the original meanings are lost. Story, song, and dream. They celebrated these things, but feared. They feared... How do I explain it? It's like they believed deeply in the power of imagining. There are poems that skirt and outline some dreadful... Some dreadful idea. A threat? I don't know, but it's assumed they made an awful enemy. And now we have ruins. Ooh, spooky eyes. Towns, civilizations, they're like fish. Growing bigger only makes them a better meal. Mom said we supposedly have a cure in bloodline. Pretty sure she was just stoking my imagination, but... The air splits shrilly open. Scree! <laughs> I'm not going to do a, a sound. <laughs> From clattering piles, a creature skitters that's unlike anything they've seen. Twin faces leer. The future forks down two horrible throats. I'm startled. Oh, I'm startled. Athbert bends for a fallen branch. Aether takes out a soup spoon. Reacting, Athbert draws his trusty spoon. Aether grabs an old hard bow. Okay, so this is just like which one do we want to have 
uh, a spoon and which one do we want to have a um, staff? Baseball man asking, is this just reading? No, I mean, there will be combat, I think, in just a second after I do this. Um, it's like tactical combat with heavy, randomized story in between. Um, gosh, I don't know which. I think I think it makes sense this way. I think uh, Athbert's got the spoon. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. All right, looks like we got a choice going in chat. Never mind. We'll let y'all decide. We'll let y'all decide. Who gets the spoon? Left is big brother. Right is younger brother. <laughs> what do you think, little guy? Look, I wonder what he thinks. I wish I, I had like a little thing where I could like roll him down and it would be like a pachinko thing and then he'd land in something and that'd be the answer. You know? <laughs> there are combat and choices. Exactly. Oh, boy. Y'all have a bias, it seems, which, you know, makes it easier to make that decision. All right, this guy's got to go over here. Don't want him to get coffee on him. All right. Who's better? Baseball man, we have not even played yet. Young sibling bias here? <laughs> oh, man. All right. The answer is the one on the right. So, reacting, Athbut draws his trusty spoon. Aether grabs an old hard bow. And here we go, combat time. In that moment, the dormant power in their blood awakens. All right. So, what are we giving them as abilities? Let's see. Humanist. I'll just pick these to start with, y'all. The first ones. Advanced interfusions. Plus one potency. Garb. Books. Textiles. Or spirit blade. Mythweaver, I've never really pursued too deeply. Um... Could be interesting. It really locks him into a certain style. Spirit Blade is ob obviously incredible. Um, Humanist could be good. Metal, tools, shards, mechanisms, statues, garb, books, test out. These are both very specific. Very specific. Um, I'm going to go with Humanist because I don't think I've ever done Humanist. I've done Mythweaver before, I know, um, but Humanist, I don't think I've ever done. All right, Athbert is growing stronger. Open mind, Athbert can interfuse with one additional target, Spirit Blade or Arches. Arches is really good. Spirit Blade's really good. Um, let's say... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Us making polls doesn't mean Price has to choose what we say. It's true. I always get the final say. Um, plus Potency. Plus one of three and Potency. Potency is really good. That's how strong your stuff is. So maybe... Aether is more focused, and Athbert is more broadly focused on magic. Let's do that. Let's do open mind. These are two things that I've never really used too much. Spirit Blade I've used a ton. Arches I've used a ton. Um, so, you know, I want to... We want to branch out. No pun intended with Arches. Okay. Um, kill all enemies. More Thrixel are coming. All right. So, uh, we are going to start... Let's see. I mean, I think the first thing to do really is to uh, do that. And we are going to do a... Let me put this down here. All we got is a Splinter Blast, so let's do a Splinter Blast. Nice! Shredded. Okay. Oh, Beth is here too. Perfect. I didn't realize Beth was here too. She can't attack from there, but she does have a spear, so she has a slightly larger range. Um... I don't have to get close to this guy, so I'm not gonna. Because these guys are mages, and there's no reason to put them in danger. Although they could easily survive. There we go. Discus. Okay. So for those who don't know, who've never played this game before, I'm going to take a second to explain it. Oh, more enemies are appearing. Perfect. Um, this is a tactics-based game. Um, all of your characters, you know, have their moves and everything based off of the choices that you make. There's three different classes. Uh, sort of a warrior fighter class, a hunter rogue type class, and a, a mystic magic type class. Um, the way magic works is you literally pull magic out of the environment. So you have to take stuff that's in the world and... Um, interfuse, which basically means put a magical kind of, like, um, uh, basically putting magic inside of it that's connected to you, and then using that to make magic, which I think is one of the coolest magic systems in a game like this uh, uh, in a long time, if not, like, ever, because <laughs> it's it is such a neat 
way of doing magic, forcing you to take advantage of the environment. You can't just like summon fire out of nowhere. You have to like make a fire and then throw it or steal fire from something, you know? Um, you know, Beth won't paladin, but she will go here. Oh, and she wolf called, didn't she? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to set him here. Hey, MC Andy, how's it going? Oh, I didn't mean to withdraw. I meant to interfuse. Oh, well, that's fine. Do, 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 do. So yeah, Beth doesn't have Paladin, so she doesn't get the auto, but it's fine. Oh, wow, we got a lot of dudes to kill, but that's fine. All right. Oh, yeah, Wolf Call. Look how far they can run now. You know what? I should go ahead and interfuse one for free. So let's grab that broken wall. And because uh, you get one free infuse each turn. Boom. And because he can interfuse with so many, I think Athbert's going to actually end up being pretty powerful. I never thought about that before, but being able to, like, interfuse across the map is really good. Wolf, hello. Heard my name. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. Um, okay, we yeah, we got that one. So let's Splinter Blast. Good. We're out of range. Another thing is you can hurt your own team with stuff, so you do have to be careful about positioning and, like, when you do a big area attack. Ooh, a big one. Okay. Well, we're going to Discus, and this could hit this guy. So let's give it a shot. Nice. There we go. Discus can bounce. It's like a rock skipping. Oh, okay. Here's another thing. Um, because I attacked him from this side, technically, the Discus hit him here. That essentially put him off balance, right? Um, so I can flank him. So anything from this side will get an auto um, crit. Uh, so if I attack him here, auto crit. And 100% chance of hitting. Actually, it might not be auto crit. It might just be auto um, chance of hitting. But uh, it's still, it's it's huge. Okay, we got some more warding, which is essentially magic uh, armor. We are going to give it to Aether. We're going to give it to Aether. Okay. The final shriek shakes columns, bounces along causeways as rattling legs shudder still. And, and that's how the cold world kills... How the... Do, uh... Hey, wait, Athbert, we just used magic. Can we even technically do that? Aether, oh, Aether and his brother. Athbert, right? You attracted their attention, you know. At least I was here to save you. Here, this book's not what I need. Sorry we followed you. Shh. The softest song tickles their ears. A hum so gentle it sounds like a windy lie. Like boughs growing or groaning in a breeze. Like gaps in walls breathing in a gust. Arthway Serpent Flay, are you out there? Beth's shout is warped by sudden sweet smelling fog. The fog floats from everywhere. Turns archways into ogres, rubble into roaming ooze. Madam Serpent Flay, please! M Madam Serpent Flay, I'm here! What a name, Serpent Flay. Who are you shouting for? And what, I mean, is... And what are they doing? Athbert wonders. Walking? Are they searching? What are they... What are they searching for? Madam Serpentflay! What are they searching for? Through the stones and fog? And trees? And what are they doing? And what are they... And... <laughs> Huh? I'm walking in the forest. Hmm? Yeah. What? Tree trunks, uh, tree trunks gather around them like gawkers. Sunbeams stroke their faces. Well, this isn't right. We were... I don't know. Somehow they... Who's they? Thrixel. There must have been more of them. Okay, and when you say that word, Thriskel, my body hurts. Thrixel, the Thrixel, they're, remember that book? This book? Yes, the important thing is they're capable of, how do I say it? We're gonna, capable of, uh, let's, let's give him like a, capable of captivating the mind, grounding three birds with a glamour. Sending them stumbling far to die. The rakish stranger pauses to be seen. How long had he been standing there? He offers some kind of perfunctory salute. 
Yes, little nest throne dears, you might have been food for wolves and weasels, but a, a man happened by who bore a gift for magic, a glyphic smile, and an enduring fondness for birds. His speech glides perfect and strange. Skimming steps whisper him nearer. Thrixel can't easily tell, but is that one of them? The... This one's wearing pants. <laughs> I'm not one of anyone. In certain... Wait, wait. What, are the, what was the voice I just gave him? I'm not one of anyone, and certainly no one's so unpleasant. I'm called the Mothman. Wheresoever I'm called, I'm the only one there is. Mothman! Mothman! Anyway, <laughs> it's the Mothman. <laughs> That's... Goodness. His articulations are uncomfortable on the eye. Spider precise. <laughs> Betty Jet's dropping an ants! <laughs> oh, man. We need an ants emote, I'm just saying. Simply look at me. Not whole human, but half, and half better. I am man and more. He seems all right. Seeming is a weapon they'll wield like a sword. And that is a bright warning, pithy and true. Fortunately, as I have just finished saying, I am no Thrixel. Now forestall your misplaced animosity, and listen. I found you three in Scorsold, wandering deep in the woods removed from any reasonable roam. Wireless tree nuts with 61 months! What comes after five years? What's my next axe? I don't know. I don't know. My goodness. That's so long. Thank you so much for being around so long, Wireless Tree Nuts. My goodness. Uh, okay. Where unreason reigns, Thrixel hide their aims. And that is one of mine. But you can use it. For one with my new abilities, gathering you and waving away your enchantments was a trifle, a matter of politeness. And yet, the ones who cast these webs, they're not the dull drones they appear to be. They are imaginative. They expanded thought on removing you. They must have deemed three flimsy birds dangerous to their designs. So, I'm struck with wondering, why would they think that you must admit it is a curious thing? Oh, why did they think that? You must admit it's a curious thing. Good old timing. Put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, compelling? I guess. We like our frame of reference, but you... It's stupid. Interfering with them wasn't our goal, mine or my brother's. It'll be dark soon. The Mothman follows Beth's eyes. He lifts his glance to the shadowy leaves. And that's when Beth leaps. <gasps> the Mothman doesn't seem to hurry, but Beth tackles air. Gotta, gotta hydrate. So I'm gonna do a hydrate and a stretch. Ooh, big hydrate. Big hydrate. You're in vision. Ahoy, hoy. Do a stretch. Do a stretch. Get your blood moving, y'all. Get your blood moving. Everybody do it. Everybody take a quick, quick stretch. It's good for you. It's good for you. Let's just stretch it all out. Okay? Just take care of your body. It's not good not to stretch. All right. Ooh, boy. We coming back. Having Discord withdrawals. Rough. I know. It's all, it's down, right? That's that's bonkers. I'm going to have to... Uh, you were just at the gym? I can't. Well, that's, that's fine. You did before, right? I hope you did, because, man, oh, man. If you don't uh, stretch, it can really mess you up. Oh, no. It's got to be lower. It's got to be lower. Okay. Actually, hold on. Hold on. I got to mess with my... Got to mess with my chair. Okay. K says it's up again, or should be. All right, there we go. Oh, gosh, y'all, it's uh, getting this chair perfectly lined up is just such a pain. It's like, cause he, cause I got these things right, you know, I got all this ergonomic stuff, and I want to use it. I got the I got the the pads on my chair, which are great. I got the pads here, but like getting it in the perfect arrangement is uh, a task. Okay. Beth tackles air. 
They say it's out for half the users, and they're working on it. I'm in the lucky, unlucky half. Oh, boy. Oh, I bet, like, because I didn't see it go down earlier. I wonder if there's something about, because, you know, we have a, we're a partner Discord. Um, I wonder if there's that, maybe. Uh, but, you know. Okay. Tell me where Madam Serpentflay is. Tell me, you cursed thing. Ah, dear nestling, follow your own wings back if you are brave. See what's heaping under the shroud. But be warned, you may once more wish your sight sweetly veiled. He turns to leave. Hey, hey, Mothman! Why would anyone believe you? You are lost in the woods, my dear. Whom you believe makes no difference. Oh, and... Oh, whoops, I, I accidentally clicked that. Borrowed shadows flush and drip from trees to cohere around him. Cohere? I like that word. The forest bleeds to black. I... Oh. I do suggest little birds flock together. You would never guess how many owls there are in a night. Man, I, I'm, I'm mixing these voices up a little bit. It's been, it's been too long since uh, Hero Squad. Sudden as the darkness clotted, the last light smears it away. They stand where a mothman, uh, where a mothman might never have been. Ooh, the trees crowd thicker. Which way did we even come from? How far did we walk without knowing? I'm not really hungry. Did we eat? Sleep? I'm sorry, Beth. That name, Arthway Serpentflay, right? Y you shouted it when we were in the ruin. Someone special to you? It's such a name. I love the names. I mean, you don't have to talk about it if it's... Beth whips around. It's okay. Arthway Serpentflay is who taught me the spear, among other things. She made me hide. Hide? They begin to walk. From the Thrixel. They came and they took her. Took everyone but me. Come on, I see the wood's edge. I think we ought to head south and east. Hmm. Everything's just, just been altered, as we are standing at the center of a puzzle box, as some child twists it round. It's like visiting a novel. It's like being characters from a story. It's something new, anyway. A little, a little on the nose, a little on the nose, that one. A little fourth wall breaky. Hmm. Ah, the sad little eaglets. I shall stitch for them a hero name. They may someday need it. Ooh, name the company. All right, here we go. Uh, the Sages of the Dreaming Tiger, the Reavers of the Cunning Witch, or the Stallion Marauders. Let's vote on it. Let's vote on it. I know which one I like. I'm not going to tell y'all, but let's do a poll. Sages of the Dreaming Tiger, Reavers of the Cunning Witch, or Stallion Marauders. We could enter our own name, but that's going to take forever for us to figure out. So we're just going to do it this way. All right? Your Envision saying is finally working? Good. Good, good, good. Oh, boy, y'all. Well, while that's going. Um, so I've been starting to work on Hero Squad stuff again. Um, I've been, you know, the, the rest of the gang has been working on it. It's definitely something, you know, we'll announce at some point soonish when we're going to start back up again. But uh, I've been doing a lot of prep for that. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. So much uh, to go through. <laughs> Luckily, the first two seasons, or the first, the two in season two and season three, Rick put in a really good um, kind of summary of each of the seasons um, that really gives you the main points. It doesn't get all the characters. It doesn't get all everything. But it does give you some good catch-up. Uh, stuff and so I'm mostly going to be focusing on going through and checking each of the arcs that we did and making sure I, I kind of remember which characters which other things sages yes that's the name I wanted that's the name I wanted also Chrissy 34 months can you guess how long we've been dating uh <laughs> hi the sages of the dreaming tiger wins yes that is the name I wanted okay let's go. <laughs> Lol, hi. <laughs> Love you. Playing some Wildermyth. Love this game. Three year anniversary coming up. Yep. Yep. March. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go. Boop. 